Hello everybody. So today I wanted to share with you what is Xbox on Windows 10 and how do I uninstall it if I don't need it. And then if I've uninstalled it and I change my mind and I do need it again, how do I reinstall it? And if I already have it on my computer and it's giving me trouble, how do I reset it so that I can fix it and make it start working again if I want to use it? So I wanted to tell you about all of those things. So the first one is, what is Xbox? Well, it's just a combination of the Xbox app and the Xbox bar on your Windows 10 computer. Now, it lets you do multiple things, such as play games. You can manage your games. You can access your Xbox network features. You can even stream games from an Xbox One console. You can record clips or take screenshots. And you can adjust the audio levels. And there's even more features that I haven't even mentioned here. But those are just some of the primary ones that it lets you do. So basically it lets you connect your Windows 10 computer to your Xbox console that you have. And so a lot of people may find that very helpful. But if you happen to not play a lot of games, you may not need it on your computer. You could remove the Xbox from your Windows 10 computer and save some space. And then if you do need it and it's not working, of course, we're going to show you how to fix it. So let's go over to the computer now and I'll show you all the steps you need to take in order to uninstall it, reinstall it, or reset it if it's giving you any trouble. Okay, so if you want to uninstall the Xbox from your Windows 10 computer, what you can do is you can go down here to the Windows Start button, click on it, and then you can click on the gear, which is Settings. Now, once you click on it, you want to go to your apps, and then it's going to give you a list of all the apps that are on your computer. Now, what you want to do is you want to scroll down to the very, very bottom of the list of apps, and it's going to be towards the bottom. And if you'll notice, there's the Xbox Console Companion, and there's the Xbox Live. So what we're going to do is if you want to uninstall it, you're going to click on it one time, and you're going to tell it to uninstall. And then it's going to say, are you sure? And you can just click uninstall again. And then it'll take it just a few moments for it to remove it. And then the same thing is true with the Xbox console companion. We're going to click on it one time. We're going to click uninstall. And then we're going to tell it to uninstall again. And as soon as that finishes, all the Xbox programs will be gone from your computer. Now you can use some cleanup tools if you prefer, and I'll be more than happy to provide those down in the description. If you'll look, you can use PowerShell to make sure it's completely gone, but this should get rid of Xbox for your Windows 10 computer. Okay, so now that that has finished, what we're going to do is I've got it off of the computer and you can't open anything with Xbox. But if you've uninstalled it and you change your mind and you want to get it back, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close the settings. And then I'm going to click on start. And then I'm going to scroll down just a little bit. And there's the Microsoft Store. Now, if you notice, it's also over here pinned to my Windows 10 start menu. But you may not have it pinned to yours. So you may have to scroll down in the list and click on Microsoft Store and open it up. And then once it opens, up here at the top where it says search apps, games, movies, and more, I'm going to click on that and I'm going to type in Xbox space Windows space 10. And I'm going to press enter. Now the very first result says Xbox and it says free. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And then I'm going to click on get. And if it prompts you to log in to your Microsoft account, you can close out of it and it will continue to install the Xbox app on your Windows 10 computer. So we'll give that just a moment to download and install. 
and I'll be right back. Okay, so it just finished installing the Xbox app on your Windows 10 computer. So now if I close out of the Microsoft Store, and then I click on Start, and I scroll to the very bottom, now you have Xbox back on the computer. So that's how you would reinstall it if you needed to have it on your computer. But what if you already had Xbox on your computer, and you're having trouble with it, and you need to reset it? to get it to work again. Well, what you can do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna click on the start button and then we're gonna click on the gear, which is your settings, and we're gonna open that up. And then we're gonna go to apps right here. Now, once the apps pulls up, we're gonna scroll all the way to the bottom and we're gonna click on Xbox. And then we're gonna click on advanced options. Now here, what you want to do is you must scroll towards the bottom, and then there's an option to repair or reset. So we can try to do the repair first, so we'll click on that and let it run through its course. Now if you do this and it finishes and it's still giving you trouble and it's not opening the Xbox app on your Windows 10 computer, what you want to do is you want to go back here and you want to click on Reset. And what that'll do is it'll get rid of the Xbox app and it'll re-download it and it'll make it where it'll work again on your computer. So either one of those, the repair or the reset should fix it. Hopefully the repair will do it for you so it won't take nearly as long. But if it doesn't, just use the reset and then it's going to go and it's going to fix everything and it's going to remove all the app data from Xbox which could potentially also be causing an issue with your app as well. So I hope that was helpful on how you can either uninstall the Xbox app on your Windows 10 computer, or maybe you've already uninstalled it and you need to reinstall it. And we went through all those steps. And then if you need to either repair or reset it because you can't get it to open or it keeps crashing on you, we went through those steps as well. So I hope that helped you out with your Xbox app. If you do have any questions about how to do any of these steps, or if you need me to go into more depth with it, please let me know down below in the comments, and I will do my best to get back to you about it. And if there is a video that you would like for me to create for you, please let me know that down below in the comments as well, and I will do my best to make that video for you. And because you all do such a great job, if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I uninstall, reinstall, repair, or reset Xbox on my Windows 10 computer, and I'll be glad to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. Take care. God bless, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.